ever dreamed of traveling the world alone, packing your bags, and setting off on a journey of self-exploration? Imagine the thrill of stepping off a plane in a new city, where no one knows your name, and the only item on your agenda is discovery. That's the allure of solo travel, a unique experience that offers unparalleled freedom. You are the master of your own journey, free to decide when to rise with the sun or sleep in, to wander through bustling markets or quiet museums, to indulge in decadent desserts or local street food. But solo travel is more than just a chance to satisfy your wanderlust. It's an opportunity for self-reflection. Far from the familiar, you'll find yourself immersed in new experiences that challenge your perceptions, broaden your horizons, and provoke introspection. It's just you, your thoughts, and the open road. In the silence, you'll hear the whispers of your heart, guiding you towards growth and self-discovery. And let's not forget the people you'll meet along the way. Solo travel opens doors to genuine connections with locals and fellow travelers alike. You'll share stories over steaming cups of tea, learn local traditions, and forge friendships that cross borders. You'll find yourself a part of a global community, each person a thread in the vibrant tapestry of humanity. Immersing in new cultures, too, is a cornerstone of solo travel. Each place you visit, each culture you encounter, will leave an indelible mark on your soul. You'll learn to appreciate the diversity of our world, to see beauty in the unfamiliar, and to respect traditions different from your own. Embracing solo travel is embracing a world beyond your comfort zone. It's an invitation to experience life in its rawest, most authentic form, to learn, to grow, and to become a citizen of the world. If the thought of solo travel excites you, then you're in the right place. We are about to explore some tips and tricks to make your solo journey a life-changing adventure. Now that you're ready to embark on your solo journey, the first step is planning your adventure. Traveling solo is a thrilling experience, but it does require some preparation, not only to ensure you have a smooth trip, but also to ensure your safety and comfort. And the first part of this preparation is researching your destination. From its climate and local customs, to its must-see sites and hidden gems, the more you know about your destination, the better. This knowledge will help you pack appropriately, respect the local culture, and make the most of your time there. However, while it's important to plan, don't forget the magic of solo travel lies in its flexibility. So create a loose itinerary. Have a general plan, know the key places you want to visit, but leave room for spontaneous adventures. Maybe you'll discover a quaint cafe that's not in any travel guide, or perhaps you'll be invited to a local event. These unplanned moments often turn out to be the highlights of your trip. Now let's talk about safety. When you're traveling alone, it's crucial to stay vigilant and take precautions. Research the common scams in the area, know the safe and unsafe neighborhoods, and always let someone know your plans, even if it's the hotel staff. Consider investing in travel insurance too. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And while you're planning, consider your budget. Traveling solo can be a bit more expensive since you won't be splitting costs. So make sure you account for all potential expenses, from accommodation and meals to sightseeing and transport. Finally, don't forget about the practicalities. Check if you need any vaccinations for your destination, make sure your passport is up to date, and if necessary, apply for a visa well in advance. Remember, in solo travel, planning is key, but spontaneity is the spice. Make room for both. And with that, you're well on your way to planning your perfect solo adventure. Happy travels! Packing can be a daunting task, especially when you're traveling solo. But don't worry, we've got you covered. First and foremost, pack light. Remember, you'll be the one lugging around your suitcase or backpack, so make it as light and manageable as possible. Pick items that are versatile and can be paired with multiple outfits. This way you can mix and match to create a variety of looks without overstuffing your bag. Choosing versatile clothing is another key point. Try to select items that can be used in multiple settings, like a simple black dress that can be dressed up or down, or a pair of comfortable sneakers that are suitable for both sightseeing and a casual night out. Lastly, don't forget your essential safety items. This includes stuff like a first aid kit, personal alarm, and copies of your important documents. Also, always have a spare charger for your phone. With a well-packed bag, you're one step closer to your solo adventure. When you travel alone, one of the best parts is getting to know different cultures. This isn't just about ticking off landmarks on a list or snapping photos for the gram, it's about experiencing a place in its truest form, understanding its pulse, its rhythm, and its people. 
Learning the local language, even just a few basic phrases, can open doors you never knew existed. It's not about being fluent. It's about showing respect and willingness to connect. A simple hello, please, or thank you in the local tongue can spark a smile, initiate a conversation, and even lead to a lifelong friendship. It's like holding a secret key to the heart of the culture. And speaking of respect, it's essential to honor local customs and traditions. Each place has its own set of norms, its own unwritten rules. It could be as simple as taking off your shoes before entering a home, or as complex as understanding the etiquette at a traditional ceremony. When you respect these traditions, you are not just a visitor, but a guest. Now let's talk about food, the universal language of love. Trying local foods is one of the best ways to understand a culture. It tells you about the local climate, the history, the way of life. From the humble street food vendor to the grandeur of a traditional feast, every bite tells a story. So be adventurous, step out of your comfort zone, and let your taste buds explore. In the end, embracing the local culture is about being open, about being curious. It's about seeing the world not just through your own eyes, but through the eyes of those who live it every day. It's about challenging your perspectives, breaking down your preconceptions, and finding common ground in our shared humanity. Remember, when you embrace the local culture, your journey becomes more than just a trip. It becomes a transformative experience. Traveling solo is an incredible opportunity. Make sure you make the most of it. And how exactly do you do that? Well, strap in because we're about to unpack some essential tips. First and foremost, keep an open mind. This isn't just about being receptive to new cultures and experiences, although that's certainly part of it. It's also about being adaptable. Plans might change, weather might not cooperate. You might find a hidden gem that wasn't on your itinerary. Embrace these unexpected moments. They often turn out to be the most memorable. Patience is another virtue that will serve you well on your solo adventure. Things won't always go smoothly. Flights may get delayed, language barriers may lead to confusion, but remember, you're on an adventure, and adventures are meant to be challenging. Take a deep breath, keep your cool, and make the most of every situation. After all, these are the stories you'll tell when you get back home. And speaking of stories, document your journey. This doesn't mean you need to be glued to your camera or constantly updating social media. Find a balance. Take photos of the breathtaking views, jot down your thoughts in a journal, or just sit and absorb the moment. These will serve as precious reminders of your journey long after you've returned home. And finally, don't forget to take care of yourself. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement and forget about basic needs like rest, hydration, and nourishment. Listen to your body. If you need a break, take it. If you're hungry, find a local eatery and sample some local cuisine. Your well-being is crucial to making the most of your solo adventure. With these tips in mind, you're ready to embark on your solo adventure. Remember, the journey is as important as the destination. Happy travels. Before we say goodbye, let's quickly recap the key points from today's guide to solo travel. We started our journey by exploring the allure of solo travel, the freedom it offers, and the opportunity to discover not just new places but also oneself. Then, we delved into the planning phase, emphasizing research, safety, and budgeting. We talked about the art of packing smart, focusing on essentials without overpacking. Next, we took a deep dive into embracing local culture. Remember, it's about immersing yourself in the experience, trying new foods, and learning a few local phrases. Lastly, we looked at how to make the most of your solo adventure, from staying flexible to documenting your journey. Thank you for joining us in this journey to solo travel. We hope these tips inspire you to pack your bags and set off on your own life-changing adventure. Until next time, safe travels.